Hello, my name's Darren and welcome to another Training Tuesday. Today we're in Warwick at the Training Academy. On this week's Training Tuesday, we're going to be looking at how to access the full history menu. Before we get into the detail, it's just nice to remember that the 400 and the 600 and the 800 range are all identical. This error menu is going to be really useful for us for some diagnostics or fault finding in the future. So to access the error menu, we press button three, our menu button. This is then going to show us a display of icons. I need to scroll till I make the X icon flash. What I'm going to do then is press the enter button to access that menu. What that's going to then show us is we've got something called ER and a number. That er that's gonna then tell me how many errors there are that have occurred in that particular period. In this case, I've preloaded some errors. If I want to access those, I press the tick button. This is then gonna access the actual error code. In this case, we've got EO410. That may refer to uh, an ignition fault. Once I've resolved that problem, I need to clear those errors. I press the return button to go back to the menu of ER and then I would use either control to scroll to clear. Once I've got clear, I press enter, that will delete any errors. Once I've done that, I can press the return button, return button to go back to the main menu. What we want to talk about now is the error codes. So we're used to seeing error codes uh, E133 for example, E118, it's what we've been used to for a long time. Our error codes have changed now. So they've gone to H error codes. Um, for example, HO210 may be giving us an indication of an ignition fault. Um, so those codings have changed, but we can have a look at a few comparisons of what we would be used to on our E codes to what we're seeing now on our E and H codes on the new display. We've just been looking at how to access the error menu. Hopefully that's been of some use and you can use that really good information to do any of your diagnostics or fault finding work in the future. Hope you found that useful. For more information, contact your area sales manager or visit the Baxi website. That'll be at www.baxi.co.uk forward slash training.